everybody it's miss page and ariel um we are here to bring you an art project that you can do at home just in time for easter um we are going to make these just paper little woven easter baskets um they're pretty simple to do you can make them with your whole family see what you come up with um and you don't need a whole lot of supplies so um mine is made of construction paper so I had the large sheets of construction paper that are 18 by 12. If you only have the regular size, that's okay because you can tape ends together and they will work just as well. Um, so if that's the case, just sort of plan accordingly um, for what I'm telling you the steps are. All right, so from that you will need three different colors of construction paper or cardstock if you have that instead and wanna make it a little bit sturdier. Um, I'm going to make another one that will match this. So I have a piece of yellow, a piece of purple, and then I'm going to get a piece of white. Okay, so I got my piece of white. For the white one, I'm going to cut three pieces that are 18 inches long. So in my case, it's going to be the entire paper. Um, if Again, if you have smaller paper, just adjust so that you get to that 18 inches. Um, and for these ones, they're going to be an inch wide. So, I would recommend using a pencil to do this. That way, if you screw up your lines at all, um, you can adjust them. I'm going to use a pen because it'll show up better for you in this video so you can see what I'm doing. So I marked out one inch on one end of my paper. I'm going to flip it around and do so on the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to connect those lines across with my ruler. So once you have those drawn, you should have five lines that are each an inch um, wide and 18 inches long. So I'm going to just cut these into strips, um, but I'm going to show you the other measuring first so we can do all the measuring and then all the trimming. Um, so on your other pieces, you're going to need 14 inches long for this one. Um, I already cut mine down to the 14 when I did this, but you would do the same thing that you did with the white. So measure 14 inches, measure again, draw your line, and trim it. Once you have it cut to 14 inches, you're going to again draw those one inch strips because that's going to be what the main part of your basket is built out of. So for the two different colors that you're using for your basket, you only need four. With the white, you'll use four for one part of your basket, but we needed a bonus for the handle. You end up with a piece like this that has those four strips that are each an inch wide and then 14 inches long. I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow construction paper, exact same steps, and I will need four of those. So I've got four strips of yellow that are the exact same as the purple ones. And now I'm just gonna cut all of those strips out along the line. So the yellow, the purple, and the white. Okay, so once I have all of my strips cut, um, I'm going to prep 
the white ones and then lay out the other colors. So I'm going to adjust the video a little bit right now so you're looking less at me and more at the project um, so that you can tell what's going on. Okay, so for the white strips that we're using, we need four inch sections to be marked off. So you are going to measure four inches, four inches, four inches, and four inches. That's going to leave you a little bit of a tail that's shorter. Maybe you can see this. Um, so where these ones are four inches, this one's only going to be two inches. Um, and that is so that we have a part that we can glue to. So you're going to do that on all four um, white strips, so not on the one for your handle. So you can set one aside. So remember, we're doing four inches. Okay, so for these, then the next part that you're going to do is you're going to fold them. So wherever those lines are, you're going to fold in and make sure that you line it up so that your edges meet. Let's see here. Let's see if we have a little bit darker background so that your edges meet. Okay. So then you're going to just keep doing that because what you want to end up with in the end for this is a square. So once you put it together and you take that smaller end and put it, overlap it so that the end goes in that crease, you'll end up with a square piece of paper. Um, so at this point, you're going to need some sort of adhesive, whether it is a glue stick or tacky glue or school glue, um, hot glue works. I'm going to use, um, some double-sided tape that I had available. Um, so you would put that on the inside of that shorter piece. Okay. Line up in the crease. and make sure that you have your square. They can be a little bit wonky to start. That's okay, because once we put them into the basket, they will all even out. Um, so repeat that process with all four of your strips of white paper that you have marked out. Remember, leave one for your handle. And then we will move on to the next step. So once I have all of those put together, I'm going to set them aside for a moment. Okay, so we're going to get started on weaving the basket. Um, so you're going to need four pieces to start this way. And I recommend finding where the lines are that you drew and making sure that those are on the inside so that when you fold up your basket, you won't see any of those. All right, so we want to alternate your colors to begin. And then we are going to take the next set and alternate those as well. So if we go under, over, under, over, and we're going to sort of aim for the center here. We're looking to make a square in the center of your project. So again, if I start with yellow, then I'm going to do purple next, but I'm going to alternate. So I'll go over my purple, under yellow, over purple, under yellow. And it's okay if they get a little jumbly right now and out of place um, because we can put them back together the way they need to be to make it tightened up again. Okay, so again with yellow, I'm going to go under, over, under, over. And my last one is purple. So over, under, over, under. Oops. There we go. Okay, so right now mine is, I have a shorter amount here and a much longer amount here. 
I need to scoot everything down so that those are closer to being even. So I want the same amount on the, each of these sides and then I want four inches this way and this way where it's woven together already. Um, because if I don't have that four inches, then when I go to put on my squares, they're not going to fit. So you want to make sure that these are pushed in nice and tight to make that four inches. And then you can measure that to double check. So let's see. Yep, I got four. And a little over there. So let's see. And then I want to check on the sides, right, to make sure that those are even as well. Okay, so once those are all even, and I would check one more time to make sure that my square in the center is that four by four um, so that the white squares fit over top because I tried to make it earlier one and did not have the inside correct and so my whole box wanted to cave in on itself or my basket rattler. Okay, so once you have that, we're going to make sure that these corners stay together. So take your glue or your double-sided tape, whatever you've got, and we're going to put a little bit of adhesive on those corners. So you're going to lift up the furthest overlap. So I'm going to put some glue right there. Okay, so once I have all of those, I'm going to begin folding up those strips. Okay, so then you should have them. They should be able to stick up. So you can lay them back down. No, that's okay. Now that I have all of those folded, I'm going to go back to my white squares, okay? So these are going to be woven in. So if I start here, if I put this on the inside, have the yellow on the inside, then I want purple on the outside. And then I want yellow on the inside and purple on the outside. See how that works? Okay, so if I have purple on the outside here, I'm going to want to put yellow on the inside. Purple on the outside. Yellow on the inside. Purple on the outside. It's okay if they're falling flat right now because once we put more pieces in to bring them up, it'll, it'll all work out for you. Okay, so we got outside, we need purple on the inside this time. Okay, yellow on the outside, purple on the inside. Yellow on the outside. Okay, so we ended with yellow on the out, so we need purple on the inside here. And purple on the inside again. I think this first one is the hardest part of this. Um, so once you have those, we're going to go and get a second uh, white square. 
and you're going to alternate. So where purple was on the outside here, it's going to go, or on the inside rather, it's going to go on the outside and we're going to bring the yellow in. So then we need purple on the outside and we're going to thread this yellow inside. So see how we're beginning that pattern. So on this side, we need to pull the yellow out. And put purple in. So as you go, you can begin pushing that paper down too, so that your white strips stay closer together. Um, I'm going to continue doing the same thing all the way around here and with the two other white squares that I have. Just remember, keep alternating. So once you have your basket all put together, you're going to need to do something about the ends. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Okay, so for the ends, if they fold over like this one, you could do that and put a little bit of tape or adhesive here or glue. If they are on the inside, we don't want to fold them over because that'll ruin our pattern. But you can put some um, glue right here, tape it in, and then we will trim the part that sticks up above. So you're going to do that all the way around.
Once they are all glued, we can take our scissors and trim off any of the extras. Okay, so, so once you have your basket all put together, um, you can take your last piece of um, your white construction paper, right? Mine has disappeared. There it is. Okay, so your last thin piece of construction paper. If you wanted to do a wider um, handle on it, you could and just cut a wider piece. I'm just going to stick with this one. Um, you can depend decide how tall you want it to be. I'm going to stick the handle of this pretty deep down just so that it stays put pretty well. So you can see it's basically to the floor of the basket. Um, and again, I'm just going to glue that in um, and let it dry so I wouldn't try to lift it by the handle until it's dry. So we'll put that in. And I'll do one side first. And then do the other side. And again, I'm just going to press it and let it dry. Alrighty, so once you have all right, so once you have your completed Easter basket, you could fill it with whatever you would like. Um, the take home project that you could pick up at the Hoyt this week is actually an egg project, um, a will it hatch. You could do something along the lines of the creative challenge of this week, which is Ukrainian styled uh, eggs. So rather than decorating Easter eggs, we're gonna challenge you to use some of those Easter egg designs but do painted rocks that you could leave around um, your yard, um, out on sidewalks for other people to see when they're out and about, um, just to spread some cheer. Um, so let me know how yours turn out. I wanna see what colors you make, what you decide to put in them afterwards. Um, so you can share all of those things in the comments and be sure to check back to see what other things we have going on. Can't wait to see you, bye.